Good morning guys! So we are back in Cebu and yes, I have a new hairstyle as you can see. So I had decided to get bangs and I'm not sure because of our hairdressing skills if we will regret it or not. <laughs> anyway, I am heading to Pilates today. Finally after maybe like a month of chilling when it comes to working out. I did one Pilates session last week before I left but after that wala na because Ben and I became so busy last week finally I'm heading and going back to my routine here in Cebu so I just fixed my schedule that's the first thing I did actually the whole morning I did computer work and errands online as I call them since it's emails I was just trying to finish all of these things all the paperwork and I'm just happy that we're filling our days with things to do and there that's it I actually have so much chica for you guys but maybe when I head back home when I'm not in a rush anymore I'm just preparing my hair for Pilates and then we're going to unbox something exciting because I'm going to use it so so I actually have more things to unbox but I wanted to unbox these things with you guys before I leave. I really wanted to wear one of the pairs that I bought. So let's go. Let's unbox. So here is one. Another color of orange. I've been looking for an etope colored one because my two Hermes bags are in that color etope and I feel like it doesn't fit the gold that I have. Well, the white does, but I'm just like a matchy matchy kind of girl. I think I got it from my Lola. Ta-da! It's so pretty! Finally! It fits! And then the next one, we have another pair of shoes from Hermes. This is another color that I'm looking for. My goal is to really get a Birkin or a Kelly in this color. While I already have the Orans, it's really nice. I really love the sheep re sandals of Hermes and I just had to get it in another color. And we have Ta -da -da -da! this one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I know it looks so big, but guys, my feet's pretty big and this one runs big. I don't know if it's the same though. Oh no, I think it's too big. Oh my gosh, it's too big! Oh, I'm so sad! This one really runs big, but not that big. Oh, I'm so sad. Look! I'm so sad, it's big! Oh. Can you return it? Yeah, I can return it. Change size. Damn! No, this is the only one it's available in because it's hard to find. Okay. So I guess it's a no. We are returning this. That's it guys. Off to Pilates.
Can you try it? It's so yummy. Yeah, babe, it looks really good. I know it's yummy. <laughs> right? My God, yeah. It's so good. Um, creamy dory with breading. Yeah. Show your creamy dory. Tell them what's in your breading. No, it's just cream dory. The batter is just cornstarch, flour, pepper, breadcrumbs, then salt pepper for the cream dory. Yes, Chewy! <laughs> you know, not another word, it's so good. Let's try the pasta. Excuse me, Lana. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm a lion. I'm happy. Baby, don't have to go to the cafe anymore. You got it, now. I got it! Let's try my garlic bread. So this is sourdough garlic bread made by Ben Lim. Mm. Yummy. Is this something you were you proud of? I'm proud of it. Put salt. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Good. Really? Good. Promise? Good. Yeah, good job. More pasta! Too me. So good. I think I ate too fast, guys. <laughs> it's really my sickness. I really eat too fast when I'm hungry. Then I get tummy ache. <laughs> but it's so good. You guys should try it. Tag me on stories when you guys try it. Good morning, guys. So welcome to day two of Wife Life. And today, I think Tuesday, is the busiest day among all days this week and we are starting it off with going to pigment so it's like a brow place in streetscape it's so funny the owner saw one of my pictures on stories or i think a story then she was like bird come visit i'll fix your brows so I think it does need fixing. Then I have a meeting after that, and then I have a fitting with Philip Rodriguez. It's the first time I'm ever going to be working with him, and it's for the event happening next week for the Bella opening, which Doc Bello and Hayden will be coming in, and then a few other celebrities that I'm sure you guys would love to see here on the vlog. And then after that, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's that's my agenda for today. So hopefully I get to fit everything in considering the Cebu traffic is getting worse. So let's go. Of course I have my baba here. Oi. Oi. My Oi. very clingy. Or so clingy, babe. We're blobly. We're a blob. <laughs> Morphed into one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny but yeah we really do everything together like we are together 24 7 so good morning you got me it's lucid i'm so high i up and lucid you take me to a safe place we said the what do you think Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I can look like this every day. There's more coming. <laughs> Some beef brisket, dos hermanos. 
so worth it. So we're heading to Sam Park to visit Ben's Lolos because we haven't visited in a while, no? A few months. We missed the anniversary. Yeah, we missed the anniversary because we were in Bangkok. So we are going to visit him today. And then after that, we are heading to my fitting and then we're gonna pass by the grocery. I feel like Ben and I go there every <laughs> other day. Yesterday we were there. More like the oh, other day we were there. <laughs> I don't know, like we don't get it. We don't get everything in one yeah. go. No man good. Like cause when we're at home, let's say when we were cooking, we found out that ah, we na I Kuang the eye, and then when we cook again, or when we're cleaning, stuff like that. So it's so funny. Ben and I were talking like before we used to judge our mom because they they seem like they go to the grocery almost every day or every other day. And apparently now that we have our own household, <laughs> mau the eye. <laughs> it's true. Tinood. It's Tinood. True. Anyway, it's true, it's true. we're here. And we're back. And we're back in the grocery. Back in the grocery. It's like our toys are lost. I know. It's day three this week in the grocery. I'm so high, I open no shit. You take me to the safe place. We set deep on the safe place. Yeah, I'm crazy. You like that. I'm back home. So it's so funny guys, but just a quick catch up while I'm removing all my accessories and my makeup. Now that it's been a month since I officially took off work and I don't accept projects anymore, it was really such a big change for me. After working for a while, I thought that it would be easy for me to transition from working every day, having this like very busy <sighs> high stress and very like fast-paced life to a very chill one where mostly like I just spend time with my family, with my husband, do things that basically supposedly a lot slower lifestyle. I thought that the transition for me will be easy. I thought it would be something that I was instantly just gonna be happy about but it really shocked me because now that I'm in this transition and I'm still getting used to that fact that I don't have like a full agenda for the day or at least that I won't have much deadlines to meet, it's such a big change for me and I'm really trying to take it day by day. There's some days where I find myself feeling like I might be missing out that I might not have something to come back to anymore because like what if now that I'm taking a break for a few months what if when I can go back or when I do want to go back there's nothing to come back to anymore and then now that things are going back to normal events are happening again I feel like there's some days where I'm so FOMO because I'm so used to attending all of these things or at least getting offered work for all of these things or when I see my peers doing those things that I used to do. Sometimes I feel like oh, I have thoughts if I made the right decision or if I don't know like oh, the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is because I know that a lot of you are in transition as well. Some of you guys follow me because you're going through the same stage of your life like me where you're going through a marriage you're trying to conceive or maybe you're just about to get engaged or you're just adulting in general and the reason why i'm sharing this is because i know there's sometimes when you could compare yourself to others or you compare your journey to other people and sometimes there are days where you feel like oh, you doubt yourself if you're on the right track if you made the right decision there was this thing that i saw online where if it scares you then you're make then you're on the right track and it might be hard sometimes and it's funny because ginusto ko to like this is something that i even have to do or something that i have to sacrifice for they're just i'm sharing with you guys what the thoughts are i have in my head and uh, sometimes i can get really impatient i think in general i'm just a very impatient person especially when i plan so much things in my life i want results to happen right away just because I feel like I'm working for it and uh, there are just days really where I feel like I'm scared if I'm 
making the right decision or not but yeah i'm just really reminded that nothing comes easy especially if you think that it's worth it i don't know my the all these thoughts are just jumbled up in my head and it's so funny because the other vlog that i published about this journey of mine it was all about just accepting and just letting things be and it's funny because now that a few weeks like maybe two or three weeks have passed i'm going through a whole different thing again i think i just keep reminding myself that it's just a transition that i'm just trying and maybe i'm just processing the changes that are happening in my routine and my life so i'm just really hoping that um, it's all for the good or it's all for the best and for those of you who are going through the same thing as i am it might not be about conceiving or maybe you're in the middle of changing your career path changing your college course maybe you're each end of the relationship because you feel like it's not good for you anymore just always remember to trust the process there's a reason why you did that in the first place maybe it's hard now because he's preparing you for what the reward is at the end of the day that's really just what i'm counting on anyway that's it i'm gonna get ready guys and we can do this <laughs> morning guys so today we are heading back to drip and draft because we are going to do a little food tasting we're adding a few items to the menu which we're very very excited about so this guy finally admitted that he's copying my outfits you're copying the colors of my outfit your colors are green yellow like that you're copying me <laughs> look at this one this is simple and then simple no, we're gonna put a vert. Oh wow! <laughs> Babe, we have to put a vert into this outfit. Oh my god! There. Nice. No. Or should I do white blazer? No blazer, nah. Babe, I look like I'm a hip hopper. Oh yeah. We're a <laughs> sayo. Dancer, dancer. Dancer. This or white. What shoes? I'm borrowing your Dior. Ah, that one, ano? This. Ben is what do you think tonight? Chili shrimp. <laughs> Chili shrimp shrimp. Yes. And then another one. That's why you have your walk out there. What are we cooking? Some pad thai. Pad thai. From Tipsamai. So we got this when on our last trip to Bangkok and we're going to try it for the first time. Wow. Wow. That looks good. So we're just gonna add cornstarch and two beaten eggs. Wow! Then we slowly add the egg. Game? Yeah. Doesn't look much, but smells yummy. My god, babe, all the food we put on the vlog, it's not plated well. We have to do better. <laughs> it's like super home cooked. Okay, so we don't have the buns that they use, so we're gonna use sourdough bread instead. Mm. My only comment is. It's really not as watery as the one in Jumbo, no? Mmm. Awful. Mmm. 
Mmm, not bad. Mmm, it's good, babe. So if you want to come back home, I will be cooking Sunday breakfast for a club. We're gonna go and skate on frozen lakes, spend the morning baking cakes with the glowing.